Let's start by Bitcoin. Okay? Everybody, where do we buy the Bitcoin? Right? So buy on blue, sell on purple. Again, the tools have been fantastic. Look here. Buy on blue, sell on purple. At the top edge of the purple, to the tick, the Bitcoin sold up. So you would have had our tool. You would have known to sell up. Look, if I put a daily chart here to the top here, you would have known to light up, sell off, or that some or edge your position on your cryptos. Because I don't sell, so I edge, right? You had a 90% chance. Look at the probability indicators. You had a 90% chance here that the shots were coming. And they came. <laughs> and they came. And they came right on. Right? So the key question now going forward is where do we see where do you where do we see the Bitcoin? By the way, if this is helpful, your likes, comments are appreciated to support the feed so that we can do more feed. The more uh, engagement on the feeds, the more I can come and help you during the week, guys. Because so far, we do it once a week. Well, if we see engagement and stuff, we'll come more. Okay? So where's the next target for Bitcoin? It's going to be in the edge of the calculator right there. So if you look at the tools, remember, here are the areas that you look at. The top edge of both calculator is a huge resistance. The bottom edge of both calculator here is a huge support. Well, this is 40,000, 38,000. It's not going to happen. So I think we are more here. The first one has been touched already was 61,000. I think we are going to land on the second division here of third is 56. So anything between this 56 and this 61, I'm starting to accumulate it. As a matter of fact, I started accumulating on pullback and buying AVAX. And I gave you AVAX last week at 47.50. So, and it went to 65. So that was a great one. I gave you Ethereum at 2100, went to 4000, was a great one. Gave you Bitcoin at 25,000. That was a fantastic one, right? You know, I think this 5661, if we, Peak to 55,000 on Bitcoin. This is where really I start accumulating. Now, if it's our lucky day and there's a crazy week, 50. If it's our lucky day, Christmas time, Christmas comes to town earlier, that would be the 50K. But I don't think so. I think it's going to be the 56K, that 5660K that we just touched in Toronto is going to be the thing. Because look, they touch already the uh, 60 on the four hours last night, right? So, yeah, I don't think I don't think you are going to have a lot more than that 56k. Uh, okay, so next. I would like us to look at Ethereum. By the way, I reduced my Ethereum holding so that you know. But I still own two points. Some, ah, it's right there, by the way. Hold on, where is it? I had taken a screenshot last week and I still didn't sell those. Those are the leftover that I had from last week on the $20,000 portfolio. Can you guys see? So on the $20,000 portfolio on the cryptos right there, that's a $22,000 portfolio. I still own the Ethereum, 2.3 Ethereum, the Bitcoin for $6,000, and everything else I sold. So this was 14, so <clears throat> we had $8,000 in cash left. And the cash is to re-enter more position on pullback, right? This is to re-enter <clears throat> more position on pullback. Which, by the way, was a fantastic year. As of last week, was up 57%, you know, in the past year on the cryptos by doing nothing. Buy and hold. Buy and hold and doing nothing. Instead of getting in, getting out, getting in, getting out, losing your asset. Buy and hold. 
57% increase in the portfolio, plus I'm getting paid the staking reward. And that's it. That's infinity banking. Plus I can go to a bank and get 70% of that to buy even more if I wanted to. So <clears throat> Ethereum right now, let's go to a weekly on the calculator as a possibility of a retrace all the way to the mid edge here at uh, 2,500. I don't think it will be, but there is a possibility of a 2,500 retest. You have to understand everybody's uh, excited about Solana, but the cycle completion is around the 5,500 on Ethereum. So pull back. I am going to keep an eye on the round number. If it's not the round number, the 3K is that 2,600, 2,800 there. And then we have completion here at the 5,200, let's say, 5,200. And that's, that's what I'm looking for, Ethereum, if you do own Ethereum. Now, let's go for total three. All right, before I go back to the live private group. Total three is going to be your altcoins. So I'm going to look at total three retracement here. You know, I have a midline on the calculators, a 50% retracement, $573 billion of asset retracement right there. So here, boom, here, boom, here, touch. And I want you to watch this line, the 579. By the way, we are not too far. We are not too far on the retracement because that's the total market cap excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. It goes from 682 to 580 billion, right there, because it's the trend line, higher, higher level too. It's the mid part of the calculators on both sides, right? That's a huge retracement. This is your best retracement on total three to buy altcoins. That being said, I'm going to go by altcoin specific and I'm going to look at the um, screener. Remember our three-in-one screener, part of the total uh, premium tool suite. It's not additional charge. It's uh, our new 2024 three-in-one screener. You go here. We're going to look at the crypto screener and look at the opportunity. And I'm going to look for a swing trading opportunity. So, well, I can, you can look for long-term opportunity, swing trading opportunity in cryptos and the day trading. So let's put it day swing trading with the one-year look back period. So right now, some of the better opportunity are going from risky or not. Storage is a foul play uh, potential, but this is risky. So I would allocate very little money on that, like maybe 600 bucks. Yeah. Shiba, same, risky play. But look, the potential ROI to the tools, to the probability is, is there. Same, I might put $1,000. Dogecoin, same, 56%, I might put $1,000. And I do have some Dogecoin already from $0.08 cents that I told you and I told my private group a long time ago, saying uh, since November that eventually Elon Musk might integrate it in Twitter. Then you have some interesting play. I kind of like SCP. You can look and watch one of my videos on the day trading zones and power indicators on ICP. Internet computer is an interesting project. But then, then, and Falcon. But then, then you got to be very careful. I, Arbitron, small, maybe 500, 1,000. Super, it's uh, avoid that project. It's manipulated by the influencer. C, I don't care. Cardano, I don't care. Although I like Charles concern, it's sleepy project so far. Uh, Chainlink will be interesting. And I think if we have a $15 Chainlink, I might add some on Chainlink. Sui, uh, layer two, I might add a little bit. 
But the one that I really, really, really like to take the risk on is Render because it's playing the AI theme. It's playing also the streaming theme. So Render, Solana, you too late. Guys, I had Solana 26. I had AVAX at 12. You too late. To me, chasing Solana 173, it's too late. But I have a pullback on the tools on Solana because I know a lot of you guys are dying to re-enter Solana. So let me help you with the tools. You go from the scanner to the tools. So let's go to Solana and that will be my last one because we have to wrap it up. I have to go to the private room. We trade real money, real accounts privately from the day trading zones community. But on the 954-758-8145, you have a free community, you have the free tool, and you get to go in our free training. I do options training and stuff for free. And I talk about wealth, asset protections, and tax efficiency. Get on the Discord, and we'll give you the link to the new community. <coughs> we are all about to open for everybody.